What's up guys, it's Canon from our Tech. Um, so I just got in the new framework 13-inch uh, laptop with the 13th gen Intel. Uh, this is a DIY edition, so we're going to be unboxing that, adding the storage and adding the RAM. Alright. This did. Okay. Alright. What do they give us? Okay, we got some stickers. That's kind of cool. Framework stickers. More stickers. Uh, quick start. Okay. There was a sign. We got a black bezel. And our US keyboard. And I did not order the charger. So those are empty. And then we got the laptop itself. 13th. DIY 13th Gen Intel Core i5 1340p. Okay, and it looks like we got our add in cards. Yes. Okay, so they do give you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Give you a little driver tool with the pry tool on it. Here's the actual laptop. It's like uh, almost like thick wax paper wrapping. Manufactured for 2023, so that wasn't that long ago. This was made in Taiwan. And it was shipped from Taiwan and had to go through US customs did not chip from a US warehouse. Okay. So it's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Let's put the bezel on. It's magnetic. Interesting. So, top part and sides are magnetic. The bottom 
is adhesive. That's it. It is a T5. For the M.2 drive screw. Okay. We're just gonna do single channel for now. Not really gonna use this for gaming, it's just productivity really. Um gotta flip that. Kind of weird that they have this tape here. And it's not, it's really, it's not sticky either. Okay, but we have our 16 gig stick of RAM installed and our one terabyte SSD. Um, so we're gonna get the keyboard out. They all come in like this environmentally friendly packaging. I mean, just cardboard is not dyed or painted or anything it looks like. And everything has a recycle sticker on it. And then this paper, it feels like almost like a wax paper that gets recycled I think. All right, so we got the back of the keyboard. Lots of screws, and they're all Phillips, I like that. We got a trackpad. Okay. So, is it a touch ID? Okay, so that's power and fingerprint. Okay. All right, so it's gonna go on that connector right there. It says JTP. So, take our ribbon cable and we're gonna angle this. Okay. Plug our connector in. All right, uh, it looks like there's magnets here too. There are magnets, I can feel them. Looks like our display connectors in the way a little bit, so I'm gonna scoot that over. Um, give me my little I fix it tool. I don't want to squish it. But okay, that makes sense. So we got one, two, three, four, five screws. They look like the T5s, yes they are, okay. All right, our five T5s are tight. Let's see if that fixed that gap in. Okay, that corner's tight now. This corner's tight. Looks pretty good, feels pretty good. Feels like, uh, like an aluminum. And you can see inside these connectors here for our expansion cards, they're literally just a type C. And then there's a little button you press. And then same thing on this side, type C, type C. Okay, so we're gonna get our expansion cards here. Um, HDMI, type A, type C. And let's throw the micro SD, I use that a lot. Okay. 
little micro SD card. Now that's pretty cool. Let's put our it in, it in. Click. I like it. HDMI. So we got a Type C, a Type A, three and a half head, and micro SD and full size HDMI. We're gonna plug this right in to the Type A port. Such a nice feature. All right, let's power it on. I think it does. It's two cameras. Yeah, two cameras and a two mic ports, it looks like. Windows installer detected, okay. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, that trackpad though is very, very hard to click. All right, we're booted back up and we are at the window setup screen. Yes. Yes. Man, that trackpad is really hard to press. And why can I not turn up the volume? Okay, there's our first problem. There are no speakers detected. Let's see if there's any updates available. All right, we're gonna let all those download. All right, so after updating, um, the volume controllers work now. However, brightness does not work. Okay, that's not doing anything. And the trackpad, you cannot two finger click anything like that. Um, they did not come through on Windows Update, so I had multiple keys that were not working and the trackpad was not fully functional. Um, but in order to download the drivers, you have to go to knowledge.framework.work and then select your laptop. Mine is the laptop 13th with the 13th gen Intel. And then you can just do BIOS and driver downloads. And here you go, 13th gen Intel right here. So you can just download this driver bundle and then it is... Uh, opens up a window command prompt and installs 11 drivers and updates and then you have to do a reboot after that and now my brightness keys are working and my volume is working and my trackpad scroll is working